two humanoid robots walk into a factory. Only one walks out with a paycheck. Figure just dropped the first official preview of its humanoid robot figure 03, and it's already making Tesla's Optimus sweat in its titanium boots. We're talking new sensors, better grip, next-gen mobility, and oh yeah, it's already working 10-hour shifts at BMW. Meanwhile, Optimus is still perfecting its kung fu. So, which robot is really ahead? And are we witnessing the birth of a full-blown humanoid robot arms race? Let's break it down. Figure 03, a better body, smarter head. First, let's talk about the glow up. Figure 03 isn't just a slightly polished version of its earlier prototypes. This thing looks like a full production ready unit. The body is now wrapped in a tight, seamless outer garment, sort of like a sci fi wetsuit. But it's not just for looks, it protects the internal components and keeps your fingers from getting caught in moving joints. Safety first, even in robot design. The new helmet design is sleeker too, and under the hood, or helmet, we get our first battery level display. That's right. This robot has a literal charge bar on its forehead like a walking smartphone. The hands are upgraded with grippy material, embedded cameras, and what look like fingertip sensors possibly for fine object recognition and better pick-and-place precision. These aren't demo hands. These are industrial hands. And for maintenance, the design has modular joint tabs, making it easier to swap out components. Translation, faster repairs, easier upgrades, lower costs. Oh, and the feet? Articulated toes. Yes, articulated toes, just like Tesla's Optimus. They help with balance, walking stability, and possibly crushing our hopes of not being replaced at work. But figure didn't stop there. There's also inductive charging in the heel. This means the robot can literally recharge just by standing still, like a phone on a wireless charger, which is exactly what you want from a robot designed to operate in industrial environments without needing humans to plug it in. Already on the job, here's where things get wild. Figure 03's predecessor, Figure 02, is already working 10-hour shifts at BMW. No hype, no CGI. Real factory. Real parts. Real humanoid robot doing actual tasks. This isn't just walking around. It's doing pick and place. Grabbing real objects. Moving them where they need to go and doing it over and over without a single dramatic pause or backflip. Founder Brett Adcock says the goal is to sell these bots for twenty dollars to $30,000 each, with production scaling by 2026. That's the price of a Honda for a robot worker that doesn't eat, sleep, or unionize. And if you're thinking, okay, but what about Optimus? Don't worry, Elon brought his own footage to the fight. Tesla Optimus, AI-powered dancing? While figure is hard at work, Tesla Optimus is hard at play. Recently, Tesla showed off a new demo of Optimus performing complex motion tasks, completely AI-powered. No joystick, no teleoperation, all reinforcement learning. The robot mimics movements in real time, learning from motion capture actors and adapting its balance on the fly. And yeah, it actually readjusts its posture using those articulated toes which I have to admit is freakishly smooth. Then we get Optimus doing slow motion kung fu moves on a red carpet, showing off balance, flexibility, and what looks like early signs of robotic grace. Cool? Yes. Useful? Not yet. Commercially ready? That's still Tesla's mystery box. Real quick, while these bots fight for the future, can you do something for us? Only 11% of our viewers are actually subscribed which is wild considering how many of you keep coming back. So hit that like button, subscribe, and make your good deed of the day. It helps us keep digging into these AI revolutions, and we promise not to replace you with a robot yet. Who's winning the robot war? Okay, let's step back and ask the big question. Is Figure actually ahead of Tesla Optimus? From a pure real-world deployment standpoint, the answer is yeah. Figure's already putting robots into live factory settings. Not flashy dance demos, but literal production tasks at BMW. That's a massive deal. Think about it. Most humanoid robots are still in demo mode. Walking across stages, picking up boxes in labs, or doing weird parkour routines that no employer asked for. Figure is skipping the hype and going straight into the workforce like it's applying for a job. Meanwhile, Optimus, 
despite Tesla's resources and Elon's charisma, is still in what you could call the high school talent show phase. It's showing off agility, AI learning, and movement, but it hasn't been deployed into a working industrial environment yet. That's not to say Tesla is out. Far from it. Tesla's biggest asset is its vertical integration. Once Optimus is ready, Tesla already has the supply chain, factories, battery tech, and massive brand awareness to launch at scale. Not to mention the treasure trove of training data coming from its AI and self-driving divisions. And if you've ever seen Elon speak, you know the plan isn't just to sell humanoid robots. He wants Optimus to be the future of labor in your home, in your business, maybe even in your body shop changing your tires. So, we've got figure, faster to deployment, smaller team, tighter focus, and Tesla, massive infrastructure, insane resources, and a long-term moonshot. Autonomy versus teleoperation, the real deal breaker. Let's get technical for a second, but not boring, I promise. The biggest debate around humanoid robots right now is autonomy versus teleoperation. Basically, is the robot thinking for itself, or is someone in a dark room with a joystick controlling it? Figure has made it clear. Their goal is full autonomy. No remote workers hiding behind the scenes. And based on the BMW footage, they're already testing that in the wild. Tesla says the same thing. The new Optimus demos were 100% AI powered, using reinforcement learning and real-time adaptation. But here's the thing. We've seen other companies, looking at you, Sanctuary and Agility, get busted for hyping autonomy when it was actually human-controlled. So it's fair to stay skeptical. Still, both Figure and Tesla are moving toward the holy grail of robotics, general-purpose, fully autonomous humanoids that can operate in unstructured environments without babysitting. If they get there, and that's a massive if, we're talking about robots that can walk into your house, your office, your factory, and just start doing the job. No coding, no training, no drama. We're not quite there yet, but we're very close. What makes these robots special? You might be wondering, beyond the headlines and hype, what makes Figure 03 and Tesla Optimus different from all the other humanoid robots? Let's break it down. 1. Balance and Movement both robots have articulated toes. Why does this matter? Because balance is the biggest challenge in humanoid robotics. If you can't stand, walk, adjust posture, or avoid falling when someone bumps into you, you're useless. Both bots are showing insane progress here. 2. Vision and Sensors Figure 03 is packing palm-mounted cameras, fingertip sensors, and likely LiDAR or depth perception tech. This gives it accurate 3D spatial awareness. Tesla is leveraging its self-driving vision systems, meaning Optimus might eventually see the world like a car sees traffic. 3. Hands and Manipulation Figure is winning this round. Their grippy hands with embedded cameras are clearly built for actual manipulation tasks, picking up parts, assembling components, etc. Optimus is still in show-and-tell mode, with less detail shown on its hands functionality. 4. Charging and Power Figure's inductive charging heel is genius. Stand and charge. No docks, no plugs. Tesla hasn't shown this yet, but you can bet they're working on something similar. 5. Design and Modularity Figure is going full Apple meets Ikea. Easy to disassemble joints, swappable components, minimal design. That makes a huge difference for repairability and scale. 6. Work Hours Figure's robots are already clocking 10-hour shifts. That's not a prototype, that's a co-worker. Optimus, great form, great demos, but we haven't seen it actually clock in yet. That's the current scoreboard. What's next for our robot overlords? So what happens now? Well, the humanoid robot war has officially entered the arms race phase. And no, not just literal arms, although those are getting pretty good too. On one side, you've got figure. Moving fast, staying focused, getting bots into the real world before most companies even finish their hype trailers. On the other, Tesla, playing the long game, building the infrastructure for a future where every home, every factory, every fleet might have its own Optimus on standby. But the real game changer isn't just who moves first, it's who scales first. Because here's the scary, exciting part. Once one of these robots works well enough and is cheap enough, it'll spread like wildfire. Think smartphones, but with legs and opposable thumbs. 
Right now, the estimated production cost for these humanoids is around $20,000 to $30,000. That's cheaper than a human employee in most countries over two years. No sleep, no food, no sick days, just working constantly. And here's the kicker, the cost will drop. Mass production always drives the price down. Soon it might be cheaper to buy a robot than to hire an intern. You laugh now, but wait two years. Will robots replace us or just outsource the annoying stuff? Let's address the anxiety in the room. Are these humanoid robots coming for our jobs? Short answer, yes, but not in the way most people think. They're not here to replace your creativity, your strategy, or your humanity. They're here to do the repetitive, dangerous, and soul-draining stuff. Lifting parts, restocking shelves, cleaning up warehouses, even walking grandma's dog if we get fancy. We're still a few years away from Jarvis, do my taxes, levels of assistance. But don't be surprised if the next time you visit a warehouse, a hospital, or even a hotel, a robot greets you at the door or delivers your food. And the moment these bots get paired with GPT-level reasoning and natural language understanding, that's when things get real. They won't just move on command. They'll understand, respond, learn, adapt. It's not sci-fi anymore. It's product roadmap. The real question, would you buy one? Let's flip it. If you could buy a robot like Figure 03 or Optimus for 25K, would you? Would you hire it to clean your house? Help with aging parents? Run your small business on the night shift? That's where this is headed. These robots aren't just industrial toys for megacorps. They're inching toward the consumer market. And that's when everything changes. Remember when owning a computer was a luxury? Then a smartphone? Same trajectory. Same curve. Different metal. And when Apple, Google, or Amazon inevitably jump into this space, expect things to accelerate even faster. Don't act surprised when your neighbor casually mentions that their new assistant folds laundry and makes coffee. Final thoughts. Who's winning and why you should care? So, between Figure 03 and Tesla Optimus, who's winning the humanoid robot war? Right now? Figure. No question. They've got real-world deployments, refined design, and a clear short-term vision. Long-term? Never bet against Elon. Tesla has the tools, data, and global dominance to take Optimus from zero to Skynet faster than anyone else. But honestly, we win either way, because these robots are going to push productivity, efficiency, and tech innovation into the stratosphere. And yes, it's a little creepy. Yes, it's going to change the job market, but it's also the most exciting tech evolution since the internet. We are literally watching the birth of an entirely new labor force, one that doesn't breathe, sleep, or care if it's Monday. So stay tuned, stay curious, and maybe start being extra nice to the machines around you, just in case. Oh, and if you made it this far, you're officially one of the smart humans. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. We know most of you aren't, and it breaks our little robotic hearts. And share this with a friend who still thinks AI is just chat GPT and cat videos. You're watching AI World, and the future just walked into the room. Thank <laughs> you.